Welcome into Bloomington, Indiana today here at Andy Moore Field where the hosting Indiana Hoosiers take on the Michigan Wolverines for the final game of this weekend's Big Ten home opener for the Hoosiers. Pitches past these three is a challenge in itself like this one, a long one out to center field. Kettleman has the beat on it and Alex Cooper grabs her first out of the day relatively clean. Yeah, Sealer, you know. Two ones, a chopper. Booking it to first, she is gonna get there, showing off the wheels. Indiana Langford gets the healthy bounce up over the head of Cooper. Mornal. This time, we will see a throw to second, and the throw gets away from Van Brandt. The speedy Langford takes advantage of a bit of a misplay from the Hoosiers here. Alex Cooper, the payoff. Here's a pop-up. Parked underneath it is Benson, and that is a huge break for Indiana there, grabbing that second out of the inning. That's textbook, Noel. If you're Alex Cooper, you you go after her. You challenge, you drive the ones that they could put in play, and a beautiful, oh, I thought that caught the corner, Noel. That one is going to go down as a walk. We looked like it was the Indiana infield celebrating after that one, but in back-to-back -back pitches, and now we're full once again. The runner at first will be on the move. Payoff for Valamont. And that one's a little low, sends Valamont over to first. And just like that, the Wolverines have bases loaded. Theories on the ropes, but it would be a good escape if Cooper can execute. Swing and a miss. Alex Cooper ends out the first inning here. We head to the bottom of the second inning. Bottom of the first inning, that is. Wow, Cooper battle with Durkowski here on a 2-2 count. Bassett pokes one over towards second. Lankford, the underhand toss. And Bassett is retired immediately, setting things up for Van Brandt here. Um, player on this team, she plays a lot like Indiana Langford. Toss over from McVeigh is in time. Van Brandt fast, but not quite fast enough on that one. Two away for Indiana here in the bottom of the 370 on the season. This time it comes in low and Minnick able to work a walk. You get the first base runner of the day, setting things up for the red hot Sarah Stone. One of the bright spots is this Minnick and Stone 3 4 combination. Here's a chop. We're going to have to make a long throw to first, and it comes in time. Indiana unable to do anything with the base runner there. Remains a scoreless ball game as we head to the top of the second inning. Don't a really good frame on her as well, and just a confident hitter. Gets underneath this one. Kettleman, of course, for the Hoosiers, beats it out. Kettleman lately been that significant and consistent center fielder for Indiana. Of their success throughout these last two games in this series. A payoff once again for Cooper. And this time she leaves it just a bit high. Castales with a free pass over to first base. Just an un-back-to-back -back sweeps and 10 in a row. A 2-2 count to McVeigh. As she lifts this one into the short outfield, Brooke Benson able to come back on it and grab the second out of this top of the second and flying. Just under 430 on base percentage. That's the highest of the team and for good reason. I mean, look at that bunt, Noel. That is about as perfect as it possibly could be. A roller down the third baseline that just dies. Here, a triple, two home runs. Another chopper. Benson can't quite get the glove on it. They're going to send Castales home. And just like that, the Wolverines come on top, one nothing. And when it rains, it pours, and Michigan is on fire right now in the batter's box. Erickson, another one right towards Copeland. She'll take the force out over at third to end off this top of the second, but not today. The O2's a chopper over towards third. Going to be a long throw to make, and they got her. Over at third, Erickson with a cannon attached to her arm. Lost the diamond, but the arm strength. Look out. What a play. Copeland lifts this one into left. It's over the head of Sealer. There goes Copeland to second. An easy stand-up double. Chance to put Indiana on the board here. She ropes one up the middle. Here comes Copeland headed home. She's going to get there in plenty of time. Aliyah Andrews to second. She's in. How about that for your second... First pitch swinging, and she rifles one right up the gut. Well done. And then the high IQ, heady base running out of in. Cooper ahead in the count, takes another one low, and Andrews takes off for third. 
once again immediately recognized that the ball went underneath Valamont and so far. A payoff pitch to Cooper. She takes outside. A patient approach at the plate and runners on the corners setting things up for Brooke Benson over to second base. And there goes Cooper right on cue. They will throw over. It's cut off by Indiana Langford. Wow, that was an interesting yeah. play. Trust in Valamont to get it there in time. But here's a bunt laid down by Benson. And they're going to call it what looks like a fair ball. Thought it may be clipped off first base, but it's going to be bases loaded. Brooke Benson on Friday, Saturday. Another beautiful day in Bloomington. Bassett can't get a piece of this one. Strikeout for Durkowski in a big moment. Two outs now for the Hoosiers. But to get up early on a Michigan team who's won the first two. This one right towards short. A great scoop by McVeigh. Composure shown by the shortstop and halts this Indiana onslaught here. We head to, is a labradoodle out there, if I'm not mistaken, as the fourth one comes across. Kiki Thole headed over to first base here. And the leadoff man on for this Wolverine squad. After weekend, Indiana will have a doubleheader on Tuesday. I'm sure we'll see every single pitcher. That one's going to be a fair ball. Just barely caught the line. And no, head coach Bonnie Thole was emphatically sending everyone home there. And from behind, certainly could have sent another run across home plate for the Hoosiers. That ball was rolling for days. As the 1-1, one, one, another one past the hot corner. That's definitely a fair ball this time. Bonnie Thole puts up the stop sign at third. And an easy double for Lily Valamont. She's fired up. Five in a row on Tuesday against Louisville. They won 11-6. But, you know, a lot of the same where they've struggled as Cooper loses another batter on four balls. However, bases now look. Bullpen. They are sticking with Cooper as here's a liner that hits off the runner over at second. So that'll score one for the Wolverines, make it two. And just like that, Ella Stevenson delivers a rocket right up the middle. And we're seeing some discussion here from everyone involved. As you know, it, it did make contact over there with Valamont at second. And in that instance, we're seeing, you know, some arguments over there over at second against done just yet. That one comes in high and Castales heads to first, loading up the bags now for the Wolverines as they approach the top of the order with Ella McVeigh, similarly to Brooke Benson. Facing off with bases loaded, rips this one into left field. They'll put up the stop sign. Everyone moves up just one station, make it a 4-1 Michigan lead off the RBI single from McVeigh. Wasted no time putting that one in play and just keeps the train rolling. So this is how Michigan has been so dangerous. They just put the bat on the ball. They're not doing too much. They're so confident right now and they're playing with each other. It's not one hitter that's putting it over the fence. Can end the inning. 3-1 popped up in the short outfield. Coming in on it and making the grab is Minnick. And she had just enough of a beat on it to keep everyone stay put. And that's a big break for the Hoosiers there. Huge out. Good job of pitching by Bree. I like Langford, though. She puts it in play. You don't want to do that, no? Swing and a miss. Copeland gets her. Fooled her all the way. And Bree Copeland's mom is fired up. We've seen plenty of pitching changes today. As there's a swing and miss. Cooper got her. Able to glove it. And they get out of a sticky situation. Michigan still able to grab three runs at the top of the third. Make it a 4-1 ball game as we head to the... They've just been in control this entire series. They're so confident out there. They're not pitching afraid. They're not afraid to miss. And they're going after this, uh, this really talented lineup. Cold strike three. Durkowski fires in the third one. And Minnick heads back to the dugout on that. In this weekend series, it can look ugly. First pitch swinging. Uh, you know, fly balls in the infield, but it, it is a testament to how well Michigan's been prepared. 0-1 to Parker's a chopper right down the third baseline. And just like that, three up, three down for Indiana here in the bottom of the third. Aggressive and attack these hitters rather than give six free passes already. The 3-1 to Thole is a rocket over into center. Kettleman underneath it grabs the 
first out of this top of the fourth inning. And some disaster avoided for now. Field and eventually crossed home. Big confusion was whether or not she was going to be called out on that play as the 3-1. Bit low on that one. So that sends Valamont over to first. Starting to kick in for Indiana. Well, it, you know, right now what I think it shows for Stanton is this one is a shot to right field. It's gone. Janissa Conway, two-run homer, make it a 6-1 ball game. Michigan piling it on. And their streak of dominance continues for the freshmen with a big celebration across home plate. Oh my goodness, that one. That's a ball that would have been heard from a mile away, Luke. Take another look at this one. A pitch to hit and Conway ready to hit. First pitch of the at bat, forget about it. Janissa Conway, another Wolverine freshman that just does not play to her age. This team is with Sophie Kleiman up in the pitching box. We'll see Bree Copeland most likely go back to that designated spot as here's one that is battered into right. It's a fair ball and a quick base hit for Stevenson sees her reach and the train keeps rolling for the a healthy head start. And that will most likely be the case for everything. We're seeing a pinch hitter here. Janelle Ilacqua for the Michigan Wolverines punches this one over to second and Ali Van Brandt is there to make the grab. Ilacqua heads back queer. Even with, you know, a window open, the humidity's high, but I'm sure it's some weather that these players on the field are appreciative of. One, two, two outs. Kleiman fields it cleanly and makes the toss over to first. Heads up play by the arm in the circle for Indiana. Still a 6-1 ball game after that home run for the Wolverines. Facing a 3-2 count, Indiana would love to get the leadoff hitter on. Payoff. Here's one up the middle and just underneath McVay. Bree Copeland squeezes it in in the only spot available. Drews has made contact with every pitch that's come her way. Keeping up with some good movement and velocity from Durkowski. This time Durkowski pulls the chair. Andrews out on a strikeout. And ring up an unexperienced hitter. Jerkowski, one of the best pitchers in that conference for a reason. Cooper facing an 0-1 count. Lifts this one. Lofting it. Curling foul. And an outreached glove by Sealer makes the grab. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And Bree Copeland standing at first for Indiana. Brooke Benson. Takes this one. Copeland's going to have an easy time getting to second on that one. A wild pitch for Durkowski there. But one of the most impressive things of the day so far, at least for me, right now Durkowski only sitting at 64th. But I don't know if I agree with that swing. You need base runners down five at this stage in the ballgame. The payoff is another sky-high fly ball into left. And Sealer camped underneath it. Grabs the third out of this bottom of the fourth. Still a 6-1 ball game. Saturday's game, that is, where Michigan put up seven runs. They scored in all innings but two. As here's a soft one. Benson whips it over to first, and it doesn't come in time. The legs from Sealer beats it out. I mean, that one had to be milliseconds, Luke. For either team here, payoff. Chopper towards Benson. Ayu's going to look to just grab one here, and a good play from the shortstop ensures that one out is put up on the board. Yeah, Sealer's really quick. You weren't going to be able to make the play at second base. I think she was running on the pitch as well, so that wouldn't even have been competitive in the middle of the diamond, but they still get the first out of the inning. Day's game. What do you think is the silver lining that you take away from this weekend? I think... Not necessarily what you take away. Here's one battered into right. It's down for a base hit. And a bobble in right is going to see a quick score here from Sealer. Michigan make it a 7-1 ball game. And some situational hitting here from Erickson. She keeps it up and laces one into right. Erickson's such a talented hitter. And Michigan just foot on the gas. And it is never feels like they're going to on this season has given them a little bit of leeway for a bad weekend here or there. Screamer and over at second they get the throw Sarah Stone with a missile over to second. 
Tag comes in. Well, this doesn't make sense because the they don't have two of their best runners on the corners right now. One, two is roped into left. Got underneath it. See you later. Lily Valamont, three run homer, extends this lead to 10 1. And the Wolverines, I mean, goodness gracious, what a weekend for them. Nothing can stop this team right now. Not a long break, not a long review. They just hit bomb after bomb, long at bat after long at bat. It's just been the story of the weekend in Bloomington, in Indy, excuse me, and Michigan. A ranked, you know, top team in the country as the Florida Gators. Michigan has played really good softball against the Gators. Minnick has a beat on that one. Runs a track race to come out and grab the second out of this top of the fifth. A great play over there by the left fielder. Seen throughout this year, uh, coming from last year, threw a no-hitter earlier on this season against Central Michigan. Takes one low, and on the play, we will see Stevenson advance to second. Second, as Stevenson stands out there. It's just going to make it that much more difficult for Indiana to get back in this ballgame, let alone keep playing this ballgame. Swing and a miss, climbing. Finishes the job here in the top of the fifth inning. That's the third out. Michigan grabs four after a three-run home run by Lily Valamont. It's been those first pitch strikes here for Indiana. We're seeing just the third pitcher of this entire weekend for the Hoosiers. Excuse me, for the Wolverines. The 0-2 swing and miss. Durkowski scoreless through their last two innings. As here's a liner right over towards McVeigh at short. She's fired up as she grabs the second out of this bottom of the fifth. Indiana, Mick out, two away. Comes in low, Minnick works herself a walk and keeps the ball rolling for Indiana, bringing up Sarah Stone. Yeah, Sarah Stone, someone good to, you know, draw a walk in front. Indiana has respected Lily Valamont behind the plate. Stone pokes this one to right field and it's off the glove over in right field coming all the way to third is Kettleman and Stevenson couldn't quite squeeze the ball on that one but that hitting is what Parker needs right now 0-2 here's one towards short it'll be a quick throw to make and the Michigan Wolverines complete the series sweep taking this game 10 to 1 celebrations ensue to Losing their second straight series in a row, being sweeped two weekends in a row. Two different stories for two Big Ten teams here at Andy Moore Field this weekend. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head, Noel. It is two teams playing opposite styles of baseball right now. That's